Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where we will going to look at how we can create hierarchies in Power BI. So hierarchy is a important concept and within Power BI you have the chart which by default takes the hierarchy once you have more than one field available. All right. So let's see how we can create and use the hierarchy once uh, we add more than one dimension value. And before that, I'll just show you that the sheet is present within the description so that you can look at each of the video that I have posted as well as its link so that you need you can jump directly onto that link. All right. So let's move on to the Power BI. So here we are within the Power BI and in the Power BI we will going to first take is the bar chart over here so if i take the bar chart and i'll take the one dimension which is the pro product category and second dimension or second measure is uh, basically the sales so what do we have is the sales and measure and generally the drill down is not available if i just try to click here nothing will going to happen because the drilling down information we have not added so what we will going to do is we will going to add the product subcategory so if i just click it over here it will put it in a legend by default or the legion by default but uh, i will just move it on to the axis okay so once i move it on to the axis the the chart is back to the same visualization which we were having earlier and if i try to click at this time nothing will going to happen again because we need to enable the drill down and to enable the drill down we need to come over here and you can see from the highlighted text that you need to click here to turn on the drill down so we will going to click over there and now the drill down is enabled so if i come back and i'm interested looking into more as to office supply is being the lowest category so what are the sales which are driving it low or what are the, those categories which is driving low in the office supplies so i'll click over here and you will see that at least from the categories which are present over here these are the categories where uh, you know the sales are pretty low and maybe one of the reasons as to why your sales or your main category is low now to go back or going back or leveling up one level up you can come over here which is more like drill up so this is about going to a specific section like technology we can see the relevant categories right and we can come back to the main uh, main visualization or the original part of the drill down now if you want to look at all the categories of all the different categories that is present here then we can click over here which is go to the next level of hierarchy so if i just click it over here you will see all the categories that is related or under into the main category which was like technology office supply and home office so that's basically the entire drill down and drill up structure is is what you have within visualization and based on the visualization type you are choosing so for example here in this case i am choosing let's say matrix so the bar chart is now changed into the matrix so if we go up you will see the same three with three dimension value with the respective ma measure value and if you click on any of the visualization that will be enabled and same is the case that if i click here it will show all the dimension or all the sub product categories where we want to look at the sales so creating hierarchy as you can see is a very simple and straightforward concept we can just keep on adding like after product category we have product subcategory and then we can add the product name also so what it will going to do that if i want to understand what is going on in the bookcase i can click here on the bookcase and all the bookcase related product name which we added just now is enabled for us and we can see the sales value for each of the book sales so that's about how you can create enable go up and down into the hierarchy which is useful to look deeper into the data to better understand what are those categories which is driving the impact for the measure of interest like sales profit or anything else so that's about it and i'll meet you now in the next video